fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Oh, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world and, um, well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope you didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. I was with Bianca. Do you want a blow-by-blow -blow account of everything we did? What's this, an interrogation? All right, all right. Sorry, son. It's just that I worry about you. Thanks, Ma, but I'm not four years old. I know, Hal. You've grown up in front of my eyes. It's hard to get used to it. Come here, I need your help. At least you're up, that's a start. Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassar. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry.
God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. I must have misheard you. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts, and then try to scare me. Would you? You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Bye-bye. Coming, you pup. And your old man can fuck off too. What the? Ah! Yeah. Oh. Sod. Mm. Ah. Here. Uh. Eh. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Jesus Christ! Missed. go and don't ever come back I understand God be with you
Oh, now, stop squealing like a baby and show me that. There you are, good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except Mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. You can't be serious, Tony. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitors. Now even the Pope God be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsch is spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Winslesus is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side to hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Winslesus' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words, exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? Too I, Matthew. Should give him a proper hiding. <sighs> Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torch it, to be honest. But, doing some tears will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for a father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? All right, I'll do it. But then you have to give me a hand with something. What do you need? Kuna shows money to father and doesn't want to pay. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. I need more than words to get coin out of him, and I can't handle it on my own. No problem. We'll back you up. Just as soon as we're done plastering Deutsch's house. I'll be happy to sort out that drunken elf. All right. Let's go while Deutsch is still sitting safely in the tavern. Hey, hey Henry's Henry. come to see us.
Look out. So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty, the fool. Next thing he'll start on about the Popes. He might have mentioned the Popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, Doshus! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, Hans. Can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse hunt! I'll make those smites off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this boxy Deutscher? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> Fuck her! I'll make you pay for that! Now, now! Take that! What are you doing? For God's ah. sake! Stop right now! The catapult is on his way! Ah. Damn! Let's go! Run, you cowards! Welcome, Henry! <laughs> 